Good morning, Callum. Let's start off with the exciting news that we learnt yesterday. Three of your players have extended their contracts. Alex Bannon, Zach Malkin and Lewis McCormack. How pleased are you with that piece of business? Yeah, definitely. I think it's uh, someone, obviously, when I came in the door, you know, obviously didn't have a manager in place. Uh, he obviously went into January, so everything's kind of was up in the air and, you know, just trying to figure out everything what's going on. So, yeah, hopefully uh, we've got those three uh, sorted. Uh, hopefully we can get a few more, you know, of the players who are here uh, sorted as well, especially those the younger ones. I think it's that development, you know, so you know, really pleased to get them uh, all tied up. Does Alex surprise you for a 20-year-old? Yeah, I think so. I think sometimes you've got to remember how old he is. You know, I think, uh, you know, for me, uh, last week's performance uh, was excellent in that position. He, he played a slightly different position against Inverness, but I thought he was probably our best player last week. So, again, with, with the young players, you'll get good performances, you'll get some so-so. So we've just got to make sure he keeps developing uh, the way he is and hopefully he can keep progressing. And obviously, for Zach and Lucas, all about getting more game time between now and the end of the season. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, with Zach, you know, I think probably a wee bit unfortunately he didn't play, uh, but I think I've got a good choice there. He's just a young man, so I think it's a good learning curve. And Lucas, again, he's probably one who's probably on the periphery. So, again, it's, it's good to get him tied up and it's good to get a plan for him going forward because uh, ultimately we want to see him in the uh, Queen's Park first team. Okay, let's go back as we do our normal start, yep. going back the way. Yep. Uh, Inverness game, what's your thoughts now? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, some good things, some poor things. Uh, so, again, it's always the same, but for, for me, delighted to get three points. You know, there's certain things we could do a lot better. Uh, but what I, I liked about us was we were resolute in our defending. Uh, you know, we limited them to sort of probably long shots. I think they had a header. Uh, but apart from that, they yeah, were, just after just after yeah, the goal, yeah, just after the goal. Uh, but again, I think that was from a free kick rather than in an open play. So I think for for that, that was a really pleasing aspect of the game. Uh, some have tried to build on, uh, but then the flip side, we've got to make sure when we're in possession, we've got to be a little bit better on the ball. So uh, these are wee things, and wee things we work on. If we can get better with both, hopefully the performance will improve. Uh, and obviously, hopefully, the results uh, continue. Okay. We're a week on from the from the transfer window. Uh, another week on from seeing some players in action. Do you feel now you've got competition for places? Yeah, definitely. I think it's uh, you've got competition. You know, we've got a sort of decent sized squad. It's for me. It's, I know it's I've been here probably a month now, so I'm getting to sort of know the players, get to understand how they play, uh, how they work. So. Yeah, definitely, it's good for me. Uh, competition for places is, is a big thing. Uh, I asked them questions, we will make changes. You know, going along, I think it's important. Uh, I thought the three players that came off the bench on Saturday were excellent. They gave us real energy, so I think that's a big thing that we need to have going forward. Because uh, sometimes you're not going to play well in games, and you need the guys who are not playing to come on and show the right attitude. And I thought the, the three that did that on Saturday, on Saturday were great. We're heading to Dunfermline this weekend, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, be, I'd imagine you, you, you've spent part of your career there, coaching yep. career there. They'll be sore after last weekend. Yeah, I think so. I think you, you look at the, the game, the scoreline sometimes doesn't always reflect it. I think you know, I think they lost a few goals from set plays. You know, I think, uh, obviously, uh, Morton on a good sort of run of form as well at the moment. So, yeah, they'll be hurting. So, I think it's sometimes, sometimes difficult when, when that happens because I'll be expecting a reaction off the film. So, we need to make sure we're ready for what they throw at us. Uh, whether they do something different or not I think we just need to make sure we, our plan is, is, is solid uh, and make sure we can go in what we talked about there the little things we can improve on and try and get better uh, and that's all we can do and if, we're, if we can be greedy you know, a win would be four wins in five and also move us up the table at least one place yeah I know it's, it's, listen, that's always what you strive towards and I think it's uh, can we get in that so you, you see like Teams on runs and they get momentum. You know, it was actually at the Hearts and Johnson game last night, and New Hearts probably didn't play particularly well, but with the momentum they've got, they managed to get the victory. So for me, it's performances as well as, as three points uh, would be nice. Uh, so let's hope we can continue, you know, for me, improve performance uh, and get something out of the game. And everybody fitting well after Inverness? All good. So I think uh, Danny Wells will be closer uh, to. to to actually being available for, for action so uh, we'll have a question mark there and Sean Welsh obviously back for suspension so again as you said you know, it's good competition uh, so I've got a lot of changes there if I need to make them and Rudy's over his cut eye I didn't even know he had a cut eye <laughs> <laughs> good luck Callum thank you cheers <laughs>